hey viewers i wish all is well and today i'm going to show you again mid open media vault okay then we are going to directly media vault website and now i am going to here uh, write google to open o p e n open media vault Okay, and we a new out here. Okay, open media vault. Okay, then uh, uh, when you search uh, Google uh, uh, right here, open media vault, then you can uh, hear the show uh, kind of uh, this uh, uh, result open media vault network address storage solution is a NAS service uh, software. NAS means network uh, attachment uh, storage. Uh, okay, then we are going to open media vault main uh, website and here asks about uh, uh, Accept cookies. Okay, then we are accept cookies and here you can see uh, features uh, Latest features and latest news new update available Okay, then here you can see the new update is open media vault 6.3.9 and we are going to the download 6.3.9 and install in our vmware i am already install it in my vmware i'm sure you but now i am going to show you how to install how to download and everything so here you can see after click download download option and you can uh, see here uh, iso file this is stable version and stable version is uh, let us release stable version and here you can see a lot of others uh, installation files here i'm already downloaded and i am hosted with my vmware you can see here my vmware hosted with this uh, iso and you can see here after installed i am uh, uh, install it my local uh, file system and local networking system and here you can see the uh, ip ip address and here you can see the admin and password is here you can see here the login ip address 192 and default login uh, address uh, um, password username is admin and password is open media vault you here must be remember open media vault is a default login password okay then we are going to show you the after install it installation here is the interface after install here here is the interface and here you can see the settings um, icon and here is this here you can see the power icon here is uh, the help icon and here you can see the open media for dot local okay then we are going to if we are going to left side you can see here the open media board dashboard system then network then storage uh, then service then user then diagnostic okay then first of all we are going to dashboard and you can see here the dashboard here the cpu load average network interface service CPU utilization memory uh, smart uh, service system information network info interface and file system file system okay then you can see here the system under system you can see here the workbench here is the workbench here is the date and time here is the notification notification settings and notification uh, power management here you can see settings then schedule tax monitoring then schedule tax certificates ssh ssl uh, update management updates and plugin okay plugin here nothing in plugin here okay then if you uh, want anything you can download or you can search uh, here okay then i'm coming here for network general network interface if you want if, if you can see here uh, the ethernet one and su 33 and if you want to any other install any other network then you can uh, install ethernet wi-fi bond vlan bridge okay if i am uh, install bridge then you can see here statics and you can uh, install it and save it okay uh, then i i will come here the interface for then proxy if you uh, if you install here any proxy then you can install easily from proxy here then firewall if you uh, create a firewall rule then you can easily uh, create a firewall rule 
then you can see here the stories and here you can see the dicks i have not uh, added any dicks here uh, only install this the virtual uh, machine uh, vmi dicks here 20 gb and then smart here uh, smart and then you can see the device and schedule tux file system then i am um, share uh, share folder you can share the folder here and then service ftp nf S, uh, Arsing and SMB, CI, CIFS and SSH. Okay, then after you can create a management user, you can add a user here and you can add a user group here and here is a settings, user settings here and then diagnostic. Here is you can see here the system information, memory user, CPU user, CPU load, everything you can see here. Then you can see here the process and system log, then service then FTP, SMB, SSH, then after then report, then performance statistics, you can see here the CPU statistics, then you can see the DIX statistics, then uh, you can see the load average uh, map, and then you can see here the memory uses average, and then network interface here, uh, and then uptime here all interface and module it is here so let's go to see how to install the open media world in your vmware so viewers uh, you can see here i'm already download iso from uh, open media world and now i'm showing you how to install uh, uh, i'm open the vmware workstation and create here from uh, create a new virtual machine so you can see here i'm clicking here the create a new virtual machine okay then uh, i'll click here after that uh, pop up this window and ask me typically recommended or custom advanced so why i'm uh, clicking the typically selected the typically recommended and clicking next after then uh, here uh, the dialog box uh, asks me about select the iso file okay then i'm browsing it here and i am you can see here open media box uh, select the downloaded file here and then click next and then select linux and then uh, click next and here um, uh, rename the open media vault open uh, media vault short name of the omv and then browse the installation location here is my temporary uh, virtual location for here then click next after click next is ask me continue yes and continue and uh, allocate 20 gb for installation um, space and then uh, click next after then uh, choose if you want to customize your hardware uh, hardware uh, configuration then you can customize i am here allocate two core processor here and four gb memory here you can increase it or decrease it as you want and i'm here close it and click finish after finishing it boot it up and here i am click uh, power on and uh, view here and select uh, stretch okay then i'm click here to view uh, stretch and here keep it except ratio and view stretch okay then click here already and wait here sometimes and it's asked about the other uh, language i'm select english default and click uh, uh, next and then enter to united states for a location okay next and then uh, keep use american english uh, then it's a copying file system and wait until a uh, finish the copying file system and uh, see here uh, what i am doing uh, just uh, um, show you how to install here and where you uh, clicking uh, next or how to you do it and hang on uh, hang on it here don't keep skip here uh, or don't fast forward if you miss it something then you can't un uh, install it properly so i uh, so i am here try to show you everything uh, might be this video going too long but uh, i think uh, if you uh, patiently uh, uh, watch this video uh, then you can properly install your media vault correctly here you can see uh, um, ask me about network configuration i'm i'm, I'm here clicking and here i am um,
So after come here, you can set your uh, Open Media Vault Network IP manually. Then uh, click here and enter. Then you should write here your IP. In my case, I am right here. My IP is one twenty two dot one sixty eight dot hundred dot uh, twenty two. Okay. Then uh, click continue. Then here your net marks. If your uh, IP address slash twenty four, then here. Uh, this network is okay uh, in my case my uh, IP address slash 24 uh, 254 IP that's why my network is 255.255.255.0 then continue and here is my gateway you can see automatically set up the gateway 102.168.100.1 and then I will also tap and click continue okay then a name server leave as it is okay we'll continue and here uh, starting to network configuration and copying file system and wait until it finish uh, here you can see the ask me about the host name uh, because of I am uh, set up in local host that's why I am uh, leave as it is and click continue domain name for local is local then continue here is the root password in my case I am select my root password uh, for here okay you can uh, see here uh, don't uh, uh, okay and continue then uh, retype your password again okay then tap and continue uh, and wait for uh, uh, network configuration file copying and other necessary uh, work done and i am uh, wait here uh, okay then uh, configuration the block and i am select in my uh, area is asia pacific and then it's okay uh, step by step uh, this uh, configuration asks about something and you do you should do assist them to configure uh, properly and uh, hang on this video uh, i know it's boring because of uh, this video is going too large and uh, but if you want to uh, set up this media world errorless then you must be stay with uh, my bad english which has uh, this long video i'm sorry for that it's really uh, difficult to stay with uh, this long video but uh, it's necessary to do because of if you want to set up this video set sorry set up this uh, operating system or uh, NAS system in your uh, VMware the erroneous then you should uh, see this video properly that's why you understand how to install and how to configure your VMware perfectly uh, you can see here installing the system in uh, hard drive and copying data running uh, the Linux system uh, other necessary work done from here and already it's uh, this video going uh, too much long I don't know how much time I am recorded it but I think it's more than 12 minutes or 15 minutes uh, ex uh, exits update the li last list of available packages so uh, it's copying the package system that's why it's uh, uh, doing uh, uh, very uh, taking this very time a uh, lot of time and here configure package manager okay in this case i um, go back and i am uh, click uh, no 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 need to uh, network mirror and, and yes cancel it and because of that you don't need to uh, uh, set up this mirror because of uh, when you're going to set up this mirror and it's uh, uh, notified you error sometimes it's not uh, uh, copying uh, from a uh, mirror it's, uh, uh, it's showing error so uh, you just uh, came back to configure apt 
and continue with retrieving file system here after here done everything then uh, the uh, media world start uh, very uh, well and automatically you can see the login password and management uh, console so i am waiting You can select dev slash sdf for installation and it's uh, finishing the installation process and disabling the CD source list and others necessary uh, the, the running uh, component uh, going to closing and try to finish the installation and so wait for until the uh, finishing this installation process So viewers, you can see here our installation is done uh, and uh, notify us uh, when all notify me to done our installations and you can see here the blue skin and uh, after uh, some times later the blue skin is gone and reboot with the, uh, the black skin and you can see here the pain ZMU Linux and sometimes after later uh, this is going uh, going and okay. you can see here the system is rebooting and some file some uh, information comes in black skin and after then you can see here uh, some uh, login information in uh, this uh, a particular screen but uh, here I mistake something that's why it's come here and I'm, I'm forget to uh, configure uh, the uh, LAN and manage here then uh, settings and then after the settings and um, net uh, here I'm using net if I'm going to decrease then it's uh, uh, going to uh, host with my uh, a router so i'm going to reboot here i'm going to power and we start guest but see how ha what's happened now and here uh, i'm to wait and see what's happened now viewers now you can see uh, uh, this is uh, the IP address that I am set uh, from the installation time and uh, that's why I am worried about why not comes this uh, uh, with this IP address because I am forgetting to use the static IP and, uh, and here you can see the login here is admin and here is the uh, media for password so first let's go to hit the install uh, website uh, web browser uh, then um, from here and write uh, the 192.168.100 okay then you can see here uh, the uh, media world uh, username as about admin and then here uh, the password is uh, media vault media vault you, you, you can see here the media vault okay and right here so pdf open media v a u l t media vault okay then login save and here the first open screen information and uh, setting place i am clicking on uh, the module it enable then you can see here all module it are enable and uh, save it and now you can see your video board installation is done in VMware. Next time, I'm showing how to install the media bar in physical device, activate and uh, connect with your Windows, or how to access the hard drives and how to add the hard drives in next time. So, uh, please 
stay tuned with our channel and have a good day